Mrs. Preddy, school librarian here today to share a book I just read, Addicts, Oscar Robertson and the Basketball Team that Awakened a City by Philip Hoos. Near the beginning of the book it says, Oscar Robertson was said to be the greatest basketball player in Indiana. People talked about him all the time. He was probably the most famous person in the city. Oscar had such an impact that three years after he graduated from high school, a newspaper poll still proclaimed the most admired person in Indianapolis to be Oscar Robertson. This book was so good and talks about places that will be familiar to you because we live in Indianapolis. But it's hard at the beginning. Not because it was hard to read, but because it began at a difficult time in Indianapolis history when horrible things happened. For us to understand the importance of the Crispus Attucks basketball, we have to know the origin. This is narrative nonfiction that starts with an overview of the unjust society and culture in Indianapolis leading up to the year Crispus Attucks High School, led by the phenom player Oscar Robertson and coach Ray Crow, in an Indianapolis high school finally won the state basketball championship. Crispus Attucks coach Ray Crow was the eldest of 11 kids. When he was growing up, his family was just one of two families in all of Johnson County, which is just a few miles from the Paramaritan Middle School. He was the only African-American player on his Whiteland High School team, and he had a gift for motivating from a young age, and knew from a young age that he wanted to coach high school basketball. Once he achieved his dream, he has been regarded by many as the greatest high school coach in Indiana history. Player Oscar Robertson was the first kid in his neighborhood to own a real basketball. He was 12 years old when his big brother, nicknamed Flap, for how he handled the ball, was a sophomore in high school and makes Indianapolis basketball history and becomes a neighborhood hero. It was said that Flap Robertson's basketball shot was a once in a lifetime, all or nothing bid for respect. So basketball was in the family and all three boys loved the game. In 1952, Coach Crow began to hear about Flap Robertson's younger brother, Oscar, an eighth grader. According to Oscar's coach, the boy played the game at a different level than any other player he had coached. All signs said that Indianapolis would soon have its first state champion, and that champ would be an all-black school. It's hard to explain what the 1950s was like in Indiana. It was an era of basketball where rivalries were so intense, players would receive death threats. The only way you could begin to comprehend is to read this book, and that is Addicts, Oscar Robertson and the Basketball Team That Awakened a City by Philip Hoos. Even if you're not a fan of basketball or a nonfiction fan, I recommend this book. I couldn't put it down. It was intense. It was horrifying. It was inspiring. And I quickly became a fan of the Crispus Attucks Tigers.